brand new alliances are formed, and Bullet Club is shaken but not stunned on the first night of Showdown. Hi everybody, my name's Chris Charlton, and welcome to Finish Strong for the week of November 13th. This week on NJPW Strong, we saw the first of a two-night spectacular known as New Japan Showdown, with a lot of implications for Strong to come, as well as World Tag League and Super J Cup 2020. The night kicked off, in fact, with two entrants in Super J Cup 2020, ACH and Blake Christian, taking on Adrian Quest and Alex Zane. The veteran ACH managed to misdirect Quest early in order to bring in Blake Christian, but on the other side was waiting Christian's story driver, Alex Zane. Innovative offense was the order of the day in the opener here tonight, but in the end it was Zane that knew his rival Christian just a little bit too well, able to reverse and counter Christian's pin into one of his own and pick up the victory for his team to kick things off. Speaking of teams, our next match between Fred Rosser and filthy Tom Lawler was supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one affair, and indeed that's what it was, but Tom Lawler was accompanied by his own team. Yes, indeed, Team Filthy seems to be a force now on NJPW Strong, as filthy Tom Lawler was backed by JR Kratos and Russ Taylor. Now, Russ Taylor and JR Kratos were only offering moral support to Tom Lawler, and that's a good thing because the referee had his hands full enough with this contest. Some stiff strikes in the corner from both men all led to Fred Rosser taking control with a big suplex on the apron and then sending Tom Lawler into the ring post. But inside the ring, it was Tom Lawler's MMA experience that ran out with superb grappling work on Fred Rosser. Lawler took control of the arm of Fred Rosser, and although Rosser was able to connect with a gut check, his follow-up Shining Wizard kick was caught into a beautiful submission with all the limbs of Mr. No Days Off tied up. No, no choice for Rosser other than to verbally submit in what was what many, including Katsuyori Shibata, are calling the best match we've ever seen on NJPW Strong. Up next on Strong, Juice Robinson made his debut on Friday nights, teaming with Brody King and Carl Fredericks to take on Chase Owens, Jay White, and Tangaloa of the Bullet Club. Carl Fredericks exploded out the gates to try and get his licks in on the switchblade. Bullet Club took control though, but on the other hand, it was Brody King with insane power and taking a hoss fight to Tangaloa. At the end of the day, it was Juice Robinson though, with a thunderous pulp friction delivered to Chase Owens and a powerful message sent to the Bullet Club. Keep it here for NJPW Strong, because you guys, whew, you're gonna get your ass on. At the end of the night though, it was Bullet Club on top, as Tamatonga got ready for his Wild Tag League 2020 entry by testing himself outside of his comfort zone in singles conflict against PJ Black. PJ was flashy early and paid the price as Tamatonga stomped down on PJ Black's face preventing a cartwheel head scissors and bloodying PJ Black's nose. Black was able to build momentum and scored some fluid offense, but in the end, the gun stun struck out of nowhere and gave Tamatonga a big win. We now head into night two of New Japan Showdown on NJPW Strong. Next Friday night, 10 Eastern, 9 Central, the DKC and Clark Connors will team up against the Regal Twins in a rematch from a couple of weeks ago. After issues that stretch all the way back to Lions Break Collision, Rocky Romero and Russ Taylor face each other one-on-one. -on -one. Jeff Cobb and JR Kratos collide in a battle of two powerhouses on NJPW Strong. And in our main event, his briefcase freshly repaired Kenta defends the right to challenge the IWGP United States Heavyweight Champion against David Finn. And the action is hotting up all over the world on NJPWWorld.com. Sunday, November the 15th, World Tag League 2020 and Best of the Super Junior 27 kicks off with a huge 10-match card in Aichi. Then the two tournaments will have their matches on alternate nights, all heading towards December 6th in Fukuoka and December 11th in the Nippon Budokan both of those nights with full live English commentary. The junior heavyweights will soar on the other side of the Pacific as Super J Cup 2020 hits. All of that action on the king of sports streaming services, njpwworld.com. We've finished strong for another week. Until next time, Gokigenyo, sayonara.